verse 2 says, make your tents large, spread out, think big. And I want to borrow from the Message Bible and use that as my title today. Think big. You may be seated in the presence of God. Think big. We come to church every Sunday and we sing about this big God and we preach about this big God and we teach about this big God and we shout and celebrate this big God and then we walk out of here with little ideas. And I submit unto you that since our God is such a big God, then you and I ought to have big ideas, big plans, big agendas. The very passion that God has placed in you to accomplish certain things. T.D. Jake says that that's God's permission. Your passion is God's permission. And you don't have to think little and have small agendas. You can think big because your big thoughts are not going to intimidate a big God. Uh, William Crouch was the president of Georgetown College in Georgetown, Kentucky. And, and as the president of that college, he teamed up with a few of us who graduated from Bishop College. And we went to establish a Bishop College legacy and a, a Bishop Scholars program so that we can provide scholarships to urban children who may not have ever had a chance to go to college. It was a $30 million program that we put together so that we can provide scholarships for urban children. And here's when we went to find that money and to seek that money and to get people to give to it, here's what William Crouch told me and I'll never forget it. He says, one thing I know is that multimillionaires do not give to little ideas. He said, if you want a multimillionaire to contribute to what you're doing, you have to have big plans because multimillionaires don't donate to little ideas. And since that is the case, how much more would our Heavenly Father? If multimillionaires in our day and time understand that I'm not putting big resources behind little ideas, what makes you think that our God is willing to do that? We keep asking God, who the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. We keep asking him to give us all these big resources, but the problem is we have little agendas. I wish y'all could get this today. I'm trying to get you to understand the importance to think big. And I know what the issue is. We hang out with little-minded people and small-minded people. They keep trying to tell us what we can't do, what we can't achieve, what we can't have, where we can't go, what we can't become. And we listen to these small-minded people and miss out on the big things that God wants to do in our lives. So I feel led of God to come and to tell you, stop letting other people dictate your destiny for you. Like somebody in here today, uh, you did everything the church told you to do. Gave your life to Christ. You got baptized. You united with the church. You did everything the church told you and stuff still is not going right. That you brought your tithe to the altar and no windows of heaven opened for you. That, that, that you, didn't, you didn't drop out of high school like everybody else. You finished high school. You even went to college, but you can't find a job in your field. You did everything the church told you to do. And like when other people were living like sluts and whores, you, you know, you're not perfect, but you didn't live like a slut or a whore. But yet you haven't had a date in six months. It's a season of non-production. You've done everything the church told you to do and nothing is working for you. Well, here is what Isaiah is saying, that God is getting ready to give you so many babies. He's getting ready to give you so many blessings that the door is getting ready. Y'all ain't getting this. Why would you not be excited? That you've gone through a season where nothing worked and now God is getting ready to, it's about expectation. That's what I'm trying to say. She's praying, expectation. God is getting ready to make it happen. It's, it's faith to expect God is going to do what he said he's going to do. Uh, oh, I, I know what the problem is. Whenever there's been a prolonged period of non-production, it leads to diminished expectations. It's, it's hard to expect something when you ain't never had nothing. And preach, it ain't just me. My parents didn't get, make anything happen. My grandparents didn't do it. And now here you come saying, God is getting ready to bring all of these blessings into my life. The prolonged periods of non-production lead to diminished expectation. 
Meaning there's somebody in here who's been broke for so long, you don't expect to have anything. That's been sick for so long, you don't expect to be healed. That's been lonely for so long, you don't even expect a healthy relationship. I wish y'all were getting this today. And Isaiah says, it's time to start expecting because the desolate woman is getting ready to have more babies than, than the woman who has a healthy relationship with, oh, I know what it is. I didn't tell y'all that the baby is also a part of the illustration. The baby in the text is not a baby. The baby is a blessing. And he's talking about the number of blessings that's, y'all not, okay, here, let me do it like this. There, there, there was, I don't know if Nationwide still, Nationwide uh, Insurance used to have this commercial with a huge baby. Y'all remember that? Like a big 12 foot, bigger, big old baby. And, and it comes on and, and the baby's sitting in the driveway and there's a man, he's standing there with a water hose with this big old baby in his driveway. Then the scene shifts and the baby is in the garage. And the man opens the garage, that big old baby smiling at him. And the man smiling back at the baby. The scene shifts. It's at the parking lot at the grocery store. And the baby is in a parking space at the grocery store. And a cart is headed towards the baby. And the man runs over and catches the cart just in time because it almost hit his baby. And then the last scene, the baby is sitting on the side of the road next to a fire hydrant. And the baby just crying and crying. And the man is just standing there looking at his baby on the side of the road. And that, that's when Nationwide has a voiceover and says, we know what you think of your cars. And we want you to know we got your baby covered. Now, if you understand with Nationwide that the baby is not a baby, but the baby is a car, then why can't you get with Isaiah that the baby is not a baby, the baby is a blessing. The baby is a degree. The baby is a healthy relationship. A baby is a good marriage. A baby is a career. A baby is your own business. A baby is your own company. A baby is a great ministry. Do you understand what I'm saying? God says start expecting because you're getting ready to get so many blessings. 